A lion is holding a thin fawn in its mouth. Not only did the lion not eat it, it even protected it along the way. Why? What happened? There may be warm stories happening in every corner of the world. We never know what we will see in the next moment. In a national park in South Africa, a couple have made an incredible discovery. Graham Midgley and his wife love visiting Kruger National Park in South Africa. There are about 1,800 lions live in this park. As wildlife lovers, they often come here. That day, they wandered in the park as usual. It was strange that they did not see any lions that day until they noticed something unusual. A lion came out with something in its mouth. When it got closer, they realized it was a fawn. They're shocked because the lion had the fawn in its mouth as if the fawn were its own baby. The fawn was all right and moved its legs sometimes. At last the lion stopped and put the fawn on the ground. Although Graham and his wife often visit this park, this is very rare for them. They were curious why the lion didn't eat this fawn. Actually, this lioness just lost its cub in a recent fight with other animals. It met this fawn that had just been born but was abandoned. As a mother who had just lost its cub, the lion took pity on it and decided to protect this poor fawn. While the Grahams were observing this strange but warm animal, they found other animals. Several vultures and storks were watching the lion nearby. Apparently they were going to snatch the fawn. The lion was observing the surrounding predators carefully and lit the fawn from time to time. It tried to protect the fawn with its own body. The lion stared at predators with sharp eyes, and it did not allow any animal to harm the fawn. The fawn felt very at ease and snuggled up beside the lion. After this fawn stood up and staggered forward, the lion followed closely behind it. The fawn staggered when it walked. So the lion picked it up from time to time. These two animals were very close. The fawn was not afraid at all under the protection of the lion. Finally, the lion gently picked it up and walked away. This couple didn't know what would happen to them or whether the lion would eat this prey. But this scene is absolutely stunning. As we all know, lions are famous for their ferocity. They are at the top of the food chain and never gentle in front of their prey. However, this lion has great maternal love. It did not harm the fawn, but protected and cared for it like a mother. Maybe every mother is kind. This maternal love seems to exist beyond species. Will its maternal love overcome its instinct to hunt? Do they have compassion when finding prey? A lion on the South African prairie has the answer. A wildebeest has just given birth to a calf. The calf hasn't even opened its eyes. Suddenly the wildebeest spotted a lion approaching them. It's very weak after childbirth and had to be left. Therefore, the wildebeest could only leave the calf there. Wildebeest, also known as Nu, is a large herbivore on the African prairie. It weighs up to 270 kilograms and feed mainly on plants such as grasses, leaves and flower buds. If there is not enough food, wildebeest herds will form huge wildebeest herds, numbering hundreds of thousands and even millions. They will travel long distances to find new pastures. During the migration, the wildebeest will encounter various predators such as lions, leopards, hyenas, wild dogs, and crocodiles. This female wildebeest escaped back to the wildebeest herd. The lioness came to the calf. It drove away the female wildebeest for predation but saw a calf who was not aggressive. The lioness didn't eat it right away. The calf didn't know what had happened. It thought that this lioness was its own mother, so it looked for milk on it. It rolled coquettishly under the lioness. What an ignorant guy. Surprisingly, the lion didn't eat it. Like a mother. This lioness taught the calf how to walk and run. 
It's as conscientious as a real mother. The lioness kept the calf with itself for several days. During the daytime, the calf followed the lion and occasionally clung to its body. The lion treated it as the lion cub and protected it. Actually, the calf was half the size of a lion but it's not as afraid of a lion as other herbivores. Newborn calves are not afraid of tigers. Maybe it really took this lion as its mother. The lion did not treat this calf as prey. It is rare for a carnivore to protect herbivores. This lion's behavior is puzzling. Maybe it didn't lack food so it didn't eat this calf. Maybe its instinct to protect newborn cubs made it protect this calf. Anyway, its instinct to protect cubs overcame its instinct to hunt. Something even more unusual soon happened. After days, the calf has learned the basic skills of survival. The lion escorted it into the wildebeest herd. After the calf reunited with its mother, this lion left and ended its duties as a mother. Lions are one of the most competitive carnivorous groups on the prairie because they are gregarious big cats. A pride has about 8 to 30 lion members, including 1 to 2 adult male lions. In the pride, female lions and male lions work together. The male lion is responsible for patrolling the territory and driving away other beasts, while the female lion is responsible for hunting and protecting cubs. We don't know if it protects this weak wildebeest because of its instinct. We can't understand the idea of this lion. How strong is the feeling that makes the lion take care of a prey carefully and even send it home? Maybe the wonder of nature lies in these wonderful stories among animals. As one of the most ferocious beasts, the lion has something we don't know. They are sometimes kind. Maternal love is the greatest feeling in the world. Surprisingly, maternal love can transcend species and even make them overcome instinct to protect vulnerable animals. The lion has compassion. Should humans help animals in distress? Yes, of course. Every help is meaningful and brings the distance between humans and animals closer. Well, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment if you like it. We will bring you more touching stories of animals. See you next time.